uh, at Joe's Club what happened. We have about 40 seconds of it. So much for free speech, huh, Joe? I thought you loved free speech. I love free speech. No, it didn't seem yeah, sure sound like it. In a civil, in, in, in a civil. Uh, how, uh, Joe? How level. how loud how loud is that blow? You know that bullhorn they use. Uh, it, 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 people will not stand outside the club. They'll go, they want to go inside because that thing is so annoying, and it wakes neighbors up. That's how loud so it is. So it travels behind the club. When they turn that thing down, I don't bother them. They can come up there and stand there all night. Admit that. Don't, don't you have a decibel meter? It, not, it, do you have a decibel meter? Admit that. What's the decibel rating on that? Have I you, do have a decibel meter. Right, well, what is it? I mean, if it's so annoying, don't you ever check it out to see if I'm over the limit or something? Let me ask you a question. Do well, I answer my well, first I and I'll ask I you. I did it and I have it, so okay. Okay, so you, okay, you, you have it, but you question. never measure the sound. No, I don't. I, I know then why'd you buy it, I Joe? know it's annoying. Well, no, it's a message that annoys I haven't even. I haven't even been It's there. not the sound, it's the message. Was I there yesterday? You're on the phone with your guy. The guy called me up. Yeah. I told him to call the police. Right. And you know, he even lied about right video. He says, I don't have to call Joe. I asked him why you called Joe. He goes, I don't have to task Joe. I can think for myself. He doesn't tell me what to do. I go, don't you work for him? How'd you actually, like to work with someone that he didn't tell you what to do? Actually, he called me and told me what he was going to do. Oh, okay. So now, when, when you guys go outside his club, what do you say to the people that go in there? Good, Rube. Uh Boy, I would just we just exposed the gals when they're walking out. You know, why would you allow yourself, you know, for a few dollars to, to sell your body? We scold the guys. We have it on, on the tape last night. We scold the guys. This is somebody's sister. Somebody gave birth to this girl. You know, this is going to be somebody's mother one day. This is somebody's daughter. You know, how dare we, we so put when, them on the stage? So when you scold them, give me an example of what, what, what you say. They do that by their own free will. Oh, what it's do you a love mean, of how money. dare? It's a love of money. So what? They love that money so much. So what? And you're taking advantage of them. How am I taking advantage of them? Well, you're giving them that job. You're, you're, you're allowing them let me, let me, to let me dance let for me just a few it. bucks. Mr. Friedman quotes Al Zarqawi, okay, a Muslim jihadist as taking a position that democracy must be opposed because it is based on the right to choose your religion. You are just like Zakawi. Why don't you go join those people over there? Has he ever put you in a, in a headlock before? Has he ever put me in a headlock? Has he ever gone phys physical with you before? Does, it doesn't matter. Oh, the Muslim would. All right. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in a literal interpretation of the Bible? No. No, you don't. No. Do you believe in a literal interpretation? Jesus said he was a door. If I took it literal, he'd have a hinge and knobs. Obviously, I don't take well, the Bible literal. Let me ask you this. Do you believe that it, the Bible says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me, and if thy brother, son, wife, daughter, or friend entice thee to serve other gods, thou shalt stone him with stones till he die? That's right. That's in the Bible. That? Yes, it is. That is in the Bible. And do you believe that? I'm not Hebrew. You're pulling out of the Old Testament. You'd have to talk to so a Hebrew. So you just make up the Bible no. as you go? No, I believe the New Testament. You pick and choose I believe out the, of the New Bible? Testament. Do you know the Bible says people that pick and choose and don't believe the whole thing are going to hell? Show me where it says that. Uh, no, I'm not. Show me I, where it says that, It Joe. says that. Put your split, split uh, hoof on there and show me well, where it says that. Someone will call and tell you well, what let's, uh, We got someone on line four. I guess that's very interesting. Uh, a viewer, you're on the air. What's your comment question? Hey, Chris, it's Tony Watley. Go ahead, Tony. Uh, while I certainly don't agree with Joe's profession, I'm here to speak to the Christians. Go ahead. Uh, gentlemen, you state that you're Christian. The meaning of Christian is Christ-like. That is the exact meaning of Christian. Christian means Christ-like. The reason you only see Christian in the Bible three times is because were no Christians before Jesus died because Jesus was the Christian. You only get Christians after Jesus' death. And to be Christ-like means you act as Jesus 
would have acted. That's why you have the little ribbons that says, what would Jesus do? So my question to you, gentlemen, is Jesus was a radical, but show me where Jesus was ever confrontational. All Matthew right. 23, there's a whole chapter for you. John 7-7, seven, seven. I read it okay. earlier in the show. We have, we have the bouncer, um, uh, I guess, for, uh, we, on line 5. Hold on. Uh, viewer, you're on the air. Yeah, hold on a sec. Turn down the TV, please. I believe it's Joe, who's the bouncer, I was told. Yeah, my name is Mark. I'm the oh, Mark. security at the Mons Venus. I'm the, uh, I work for Joe Redner. Go ahead, Mark. Yeah, first of all, the uh, two preachers. Uh, number one, I do believe in First Amendment. I do believe they have a freedom to do what they do. But where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line at sitting there and inciting people to try to fight you? You guys sit there, sit outside this club all the time, and you have a very large megaphone, and you have it turned way up. And don't sit there and lie to everybody and say that you're going by the law yeah, because you're well, not. Okay. Okay, I am dealing with God all the time. Lie. Hey, Mark, what, what, what are the kind of things that they say to the girls and to you? What do they say that would incite um, violence? Oh, oh, the, all, the, all the customers, they're, they're, they just told, anytime a customer is walking by them, they're screaming at them, calling them perverts, calling them sodomites, calling them, uh, you know, faggots, Ask calling all the girls whores. Uh, uh, what, what they, 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 just, they, they just, anybody that walks by them, they would sit there and yell and scream. And, and, and uh, my favorite one is, uh, what are you going to do when you wake up tomorrow dead? And I just get it. You know, some some of the things that come out of these guys' mouths is just amazing. Mark, what do they say? What do they say to the girls? Uh, well, they just they just all they tell the girls that they're you know they're whores and they're going to hell and you know that you know you know basically just calling them names. They, that basically the only thing they do out there, as far as scripture reading, they'll sit there and read some scripture. But most of the thing they do, they'll sit there and yell and scream at everybody, calling them names, trying to incite a fight. All right, thanks for calling in, Mark. Thank you. You know, one of the things we say to the women is, how, how do you expect to find a man that will respect you? No, you, you don't, don't say yourself. that to him. Actually, you no. holler it at them. No, I don't have to holler. I got you a megaphone, Joe. I, All that, I have to do is speak into the megaphone. This guy's okay? an idiot. That's, that's why I don't have to yell. He's just an idiot. You're, it's worse than hollering if you've got a friggin' mega, megaphone, you dummy. Oh. Move the front door a little closer to the sidewalk, and then we eliminate the megaphone. Add on. Just bring so it now, a little bit closer. Uh, hey, let me ask you a question. Aren't you committing against sin being so fat? No. Oh. Doesn't the Bible say your body is a temple? Yeah. So you Can't I be a cathedral? Isn't fat, Can't I be a cathedral? Is it, is it when you're is fat? A isn't that, is that taking care of Maybe your body? you're just used to seeing people with is AIDS, Is that taking Joe? care of your body when you're so AIDS. fat? Not at all. Wow. Well, I don't good. remember God destroying Sodom and Gomorrah because uh, yeah, they were overweight. Yeah, yeah. Nice try. Joe, the last time you called someone fat, we had a chair thrown across the room. Um, we have... We have uh, uh, some video that, and I call this the drumstick guy. This is a gentleman that starts off uh, seemingly peaceful, and then he just gets angry and angrier. So, if we could just roll that footage of uh, of the drumstick guy. Oh, God. 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 Oh,